So the first thing we're going to be looking into is in our store.js and in here we're going to just switch up a little bit uh, a few things uh, from the previous version. Now right now when we do our add checkout items uh, we are passing in our payload here and then we're adding order number, we're adding status text and then we're adding the order line so we can have multiple things. So we're going to do a little bit switch here. So at the top we're going to create one called archive. Um, and this one we're going to set to false because we don't want it to be archived as soon as we push it into the uh, the orders array, right? It needs to be false and only change once we do a click on a button, right? So that's the first one we're going to create. Then we're going to create one called store orders well, without the S, just store order. And we're also going to set this to false. So these two we're going to be using to determine if it should be shown here uh, and also to do a calculation over here. Uh, so we can, uh, it will be easier for us to control everything. Now the next one is the order number. Um, and I still haven't figured out completely how to do a auto increment sort of thing in uh, Firebase. So what we're going to do now is just a really simple version. This will not be uh, the best way to do it basically. So we're going to do a state.counter uh, like this, counter, if I can spell right, and then just do a plus plus. And then of course we need to also add the uh, counter up here. So let's do that here, here, let's do this here, and let's just set this to uh, oh, zero for starters, right? So now we have this set up, uh, we have our archives, we have our store orders, we have our order number switched to this, and then we are going to not do, uh, not start it because our CSS, what we need to check here is because we are using CSS, we're going to check um, and use our SAS map here or our theme here to control the colors. So our colors is called in progress, that's the orange one, it's called in co incomplete for the red one and it's called complete for the green one. So we're going to switch not completed into in, in started, incomplete, incomplete like this instead. So this is the first thing we're going to do uh, for our code. So click save and then in the next video we're going to implement a little bit more to this.